Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy Talamoli. If you're new here, I'm also known as Brain the Runner on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, whatever social media you can find it. I'll have a link below. Today we're going to be talking about the Clifton 8. I also want to note one thing, well, a couple things. I am on the Hoka on a flyer team, but they did not send me this shoe. Roadrunner Sports actually sent me this shoe for me to try and review for you guys. So we are here with it. I also changed out my shoelaces for Caterpie. I will link those down below because I like no tie shoelaces because sometimes I'm lazy and I just want the perfect fit every single time I'll leave for a run and not have to worry about tying my shoelaces. So that's why we got that. Now that we got that out the way, let's talk about this bad boy. It's a little dirty. And yes, I know I have not been posting on here on YouTube with the move and everything. It was just really hard. Um, we went to North Carolina, we went to Missouri, and then, you know, just kind of setting up. My husband was home. I don't like recording when my husband's home. I get really camera shy. So yeah, but we're back in action, baby. He went back to work. Thank goodness, because he was getting on my nerves. And now we're back with reviews. So this week we're going to be talking about the Clifton 8. Now, as many of you guys know, I love Clifton models. And I really like this one. There's things that I really liked about this one. There's some things that I don't like. Some things that I noticed, and we're going to get into that with this video. So let's start off by saying that this shoe obviously is still a neutral shoe, which means this is good for people with high to medium arches. This shoe weighs in at 7.6 ounces. I mean, that's pretty lightweight. This shoe is pretty versatile, so if you're running on pavement, you're going to still get some good feedback from it. You're still going to get some good feedback if you read run with it on the track you're also going to get some good feedback if you run it on the trail as you guys can see i've definitely taken it out on the trail and it's gotten really really dirty you have a lot more of this rubber grip here which i really like you still have some exposed eva but i feel like it's not like the previous models where that eva really wore out a whole lot so nothing to worry about because you still have a lot of grip here which is really good I'm not really a midfoot striker so I'm not wearing through that like that but you still have as you guys can see a whole lot of just rubber there so that's really really great this shoe is built with vegan materials so none of it has been tested on the animals so that's a really really good thing you still have your meta rocker your meta rocker is going to help you go like this which is really 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 helpful whenever you're lazy in those later miles you still have your extended pull tab here the extended pull tab is something that i'm still learning to love because you know with hoka they used to be known for their big old like uh loop back here but i have not found it to be a huge huge problem i was nervous about this whenever they came out with it with previous models if it would be on my heel and push on my Achilles, but I have not found that to be a problem for me yet. I'm sorry if it's really echoey in here. This room is still under construction. <laughs> Upper is made with like your breathable ventilated engineer mesh, so it definitely is breathable that I've noticed, but I will say that I did notice that my foot rubbed in some areas, and I'll get into that in a minute. And as always, the cushion is made with their EVA. So that's why you see that exposed EVA. It's compressed EVA. I can't say what the word is because I'm not really good with pronunciation of my words. But um, it is definitely there. Now, the fit for me was definitely true to size. This has been a more true to size fit for me than previous Hoka models. I did, I think I noted in the last... Clifton it felt a little wide for me and this one really hugged my foot really 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 good now with that said as I had mentioned I did notice my foot rub just a little bit but nothing too too crazy but some hot spot for me going on uh it's still very lightweight tongue wasn't really too crazy i mean it's nicely cushioned for me um sometimes tongues and shoes are hit or miss for me sometimes they move around a lot and sometimes they're just too much i felt like this one was a really simple tongue for me and then you know as i said before it is a 
neutral shoes so that ended up working perfect for me you do have a little reflective stripe here but i don't run at night anymore so i don't really need that but i mean if you need that that's there <laughs> uh fit though still pretty good for me uh i didn't build a meta rocker as i have in other hoka shoes um usually that meta rocker is really pushing me forward and this one it just kind of felt like a normal shoe to me so and i think other people have noticed that as well that they said that they don't feel the meta rocker like they used to in hoka shoes so yeah that's one thing if you're really like somebody that depends on that I'm not feeling it but overall it's still lightweight it still feels comfortable it still fits great to the foot uh like it, it's a true to size fit for me so yeah that is my hoka review for you guys short easy to the point uh nothing really fancy going on here uh they stayed pretty true to the clifton the last model you know don't change something that's broken you know they just added a little bit more i mean compared to the previous model that i had this one has more rubber at the bottom so i really like that so yeah that is the review and we will be back be back next week because i have another shoe that i need to review for you guys but i gotta go take it for a run but <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next video. And that is your Clifton 8, baby. We love it. Also, totally forgot to mention that the price is $129 at Roadrunner Sports. And I feel like that's a very fair price point. That's usually about what most running shoes cost that are in a decent quality. So... I think that's a good price. Also, I wanted to mention that I typically size half a size up whenever it comes to my running shoes. So I wear a size 8 normally in regular shoes. And then for running shoes, I like to wear a size 8.5. So, and with it being an 8.5, felt like it still had a lot of great room and it still fit me true to size. So I hope that helps you out. We love it. Overall, it's a good shoe. I love it. Just one little hot spot for me. I don't know if that's sock dependent or if it's just the shoe itself. I've never had hot spots before, so that's why I'm like, mm. But yeah, very lightweight, very versatile. Can run on it pretty much anywhere. I mean, I've run on it on different types of trails and it's not filled me. I know. Some people are going to be like, you need a trail shoe. Hey. Look. It did the job, especially if you're like, you know, you run in areas like I do where you have like a mixture of both. This one's going to get the job done. I'm not saying it's a trail runner. I'm just saying this will get the job done and protect your knees if you need some support. And I will see you next video. Have a great day.